Weiss from BodyPerformance.net, and this is week seven of the bench press program. So we're eight weeks out from the competition in Kamloops, BC, and this week was supposed to be my original plan deload week, but because of the pec strain that I suffered the week before that, that changed my plans a little bit. So I was away a lot of this week, which also forced me to have a little bit lower volume than I normally would have had. So this is definitely off plan, but that's nothing unusual as you go through a program. So let's just get started right away. This isn't a very long week. Uh, there wasn't a, a lot of workouts, so it's not gonna take very long to cover it and go over what happened and what's going on going forward. So on the 26th, I did pause bench press with pinkies on the rings. I still have kept my grip in from where uh, I'm not doing any competition grip stuff yet. I don't know exactly what grip I'm going to use in competition yet. I'll decide that in the next few weeks. So with this pause bench press, I only did 130 kilos and five sets of three reps. So it's pretty low volume, only 1,950 kilos on that, on that particular day. That was the only pressing volume that I did. Uh, then I did some accessory work, some tricep press down, some rear delt flies, and some dumbbell curls, and that was it for that day. Now, the very next day, the 27th, I did the pause bench press again, same grip, same exercise. I bumped my weight up a little bit. I did three sets of three with that, 132.5. Then I did some touch and go bench press with the same grip, 125 kilos for five, set, uh, five reps for three sets. So that was two days in a row, and but the volume was pretty low. Intensity, moderate, which is uh, kind of what I, w I wanted. I wanted to test the pec a little bit to see if it was it was okay. I had no problems with it at all. I don't really feel it at all anymore. But uh, as the intensity rises, the volume al also has to fall. But my volume is still probably a bit lower than it would have been. It's probably in between what uh, my normal volume for this first strength week would have been. And so I would consider it more of a transition week. I finished that day off with tricep press downs just for five sets, 10 reps, just to get some blood going in there. The next day, once, so this is three days in a row now, pause bench presses. So I wanna explain as I go into the strength phase, I believe in practicing the lifts more often. So as we go along, you'll see a lot less accessory work. It, the lifts that I'll be doing will be much closer, if, if not exactly the same as what I'll be doing in competition. And I'll be doing them more often. It won't be uncommon for me, and I'm not even sure yet because I have to go day by day, week by week, how I feel. Some weeks I may do upwards of five, even six pressing sessions per week. Some weeks may only be three, especially as we get more towards the end. So that's gonna play a big factor in how much volume I'm, I'm getting in per week, what intensity I'm using per workout, and how many practices, I would call it, that I'm getting of the actual exercise. So on this third day, same thing, I kept the grip the same, pause bench press, 135 for three sets of three. Then I actually did a couple sets of squats and deadlifts just to get a, a bit of a practice on those and a bit of feel for those. So the workouts are very short in comparison to what we've been seeing in the last few weeks, except for last week. And that's gonna be a bit of the norm as we go along now because we're finished the volume phase. And the volume phase does take up quite a bit of uh, time as far as your workouts go. You can, you can have some fairly long workouts, especially if you're uh, using some, some heavier weight and I am not afraid to take a pretty good rest up to five minutes in between sets. So if you're doing upwards of 10 to 14 sets, sets of uh, an exercise or a variation of an exercise, uh, you might be doing that exercise for an hour and then you still have accessory work and stuff to do after. So this, this is quite a bit different. Okay, so the 29th, that was the fourth day in a row that I did pause bench presses, pinkies on the rings. 100, I did 140 kilos for a double for one set. So kind of tested the pec there with what I would consider to be a pretty moderately heavy weight. That's, that's in the 83 or 84%, I believe, of my, of my uh, one rep projected max. So it's getting up there as far as uh, what type of intensity I'd use on a regular basis. Then I backed it off to 125 kilos and I did four sets of four. 
So that was a quick workout as well. And that was pretty much it for the week. So it wasn't exceptionally exciting. I didn't do much uh, accessory work. And that's going to be kind of the norm from now on. I, I do want to say though, every day I still do band pull-aparts and stuff like that. More uh, prehab type stuff for my shoulders just to keep them healthy. But as far as other pressing exercises and flies and and uh, tricep press downs and dips and stuff like that that's going to be cut way back in the next little while i'm not going to say i'm not going to do it at all but i may not it's going to be my my program is adjusted on pretty much a daily if not uh, a weekly if not a daily basis so i don't know exactly what i'm doing next week either i have a plan of what i'm going to do in my in my head and also kind of written down but as i go day to day the plan gets solidified from that template. So let's take a look at the at the graphs. The daily volume in kilograms, you can, you can look at it there and the difference is pretty substantial, especially from weeks one to five and then seven. Week six was a weird week because of the injury. There was only two days in there. Uh, you'll see in week seven, even though it was a short week because I was away Thursday to Sunday, uh, I still had four training days. But the volume of those training days, as you can see, is quite low. But now, as we look to the average weekly intensity, you can see that my intensity of last week was almost the same, just very, very slightly lower than my highest week before the injury. So the volume was very low in week seven, but the intensity had risen back up to, to the levels that I'm going to be training in, if not maybe slightly higher 78.8 um, i'm just gonna say when i'm in a strength block i probably am averaging uh, maybe slightly higher than that i'll go as high as 90 percent probably but then i'll also go as low as 75 percent so depending on how many sets i'm doing of each of those when you average them out uh, that's gonna that's gonna decide what that actual number is but it's uh, it's definitely going to be up in that range where it is now as we work on building strength. So looking at the total weekly pressing related volume, this week was not much higher than last week. And last week I considered it to be exceptionally low. I kept this week lower than I probably um, would have on a normal week. It was kind of like I said, it was almost like a deload week and then a transition transitional week this, this week. So. I expect my volume when I when I uh, actually graph it out next week is going to be slightly higher than it was this week, but it's not going to be anywhere near the levels of the first five weeks. Average daily intensity, you look at week seven and you can see that the intensity on each day is very close and relatively high, over 75% every day as an average. So on, on some of those days, uh, not so much this week, but in the weeks coming up, uh, you'll, have, you'll have days where you'll be hitting upwards of 80, 85, 87, 90% intensity. Um, that's not gonna happen often, but it will happen. I had one day on day four here where I had a set, I believe that was about 85%. So that brought the intensity of that day up. But because of the lower intensity sets being in like some of them 72 to 74 range that brings the average down but you can see the average from day to day is higher than it was even in uh, the previous weeks not not really counting week uh, week six and as we go on you'll see that intensity continue to rise and then the volume will be uh, based on uh, recovery more than anything. So that's not something I can plan out too far in advance. You can have grand plans about what you're going to do, but recovery is recovery. You have to kind of base how you're feeling, how you're performing. If you're, if you're moving weights that you should be moving easily or, or relatively easily, and now they're starting to struggle, if you're getting anywhere near missing reps that you shouldn't be missing, well, that's a sign. You should actually be picking up on that well before that starts to happen. So in the next four weeks, about four weeks, where it's gonna be primarily a, a strength phase before I start peaking, there won't be any missed reps. Like all, every rep should look 
pretty much the same as the last and that doesn't matter if I'm working at 90% or 70%. That's my goal always through the strength phase. Then when I go through the peaking phase, well that you have to push yourself a little bit harder so you'll be getting closer to failure, but the ultimate goal is to still never fail. But getting way ahead of myself here, that's all I got to say for this week. Stay tuned next week and see where we go. Talk to you soon.